Finding affordable housing. It's a crisis that's impacting a lot of people here in the valley. Many are also facing strict deadlines, whether it's their timeline at a shelter or an expiration date for their Section 8 voucher. The clock is ticking. And there go one. What's the? This is, this trip delivery is, is two of them. Kiba Hill tries to stay busy, working several hours a day, making food deliveries just to survive. She's trying to make as much money as possible because time isn't on her side. The Section 8 voucher is going to expire in a couple of days on the 9th. I'm in the woman's shelter and that's going to expire. My time is running out another week or two. And then next thing you know, I'm one step away from just living in my van with me and my cat, you know, and it's like, what do I do now, you know? She says her landlord didn't renew her lease back in December. Ever since then, she's been looking for a landlord to take her Section 8 voucher. But she's run into so many roadblocks, like fewer rental options, sky high rents, and just barely making enough to scrape by. But it's a lot of people that be in that Section 8 office complaining, complaining about the same issue I'm going through. Voucher holders get 180 days to find housing once they're issued. After that, they expire. The City of Phoenix housing officials say it took an average of 114 days for a voucher holder to get into a lease for the 2021-2022 fiscal year. And in that time frame, the voucher success rate was just under 60%. That means 40% of voucher holders weren't able to use them. The voucher success rate is certainly something where all public housing authorities um, pay um, a, a special attention to for any new vouchers that are issued. Um, it is a goal to um, lease up as, as many and, and have as many families lease up. The city has tried to boost landlord participation with $2,000 payments, and the voucher payment was also raised this year to cover more to meet market demand, but there is still a gap. We have 7,355 vouchers, and um, the number of uh, vouchers um, leased up can fluctuate about 6,200 of those um, uh, vouchers are currently leased. And so several hundred voucher holders that um, are currently searching for housing. Among those hundreds is Kiva. She is at a loss, but is holding on to her faith to overcome this situation. To say, hey, this is, th I have to survive. So I have to keep focused and stay positive. Even though the situation looks bad, I have to feel like, Kiba, you can keep doing it. Don't give up. So the city says there are certain extensions that people can apply for if they mm -hmm. qualify, but of course you have to be eligible. Uh, but for people like Kiba, who says, there's no one to help uh, me, you know, you just appreciate the humanity of the situation. Yeah. Oh, and then she's out there working so mm -hmm. hard. And um, so I'm glad that you right. told her story because yeah. a lot of times we talk about these issues, but we don't have that human face. Absolutely. And we don't, we don't really understand that right. there is a person who is trying to make a, a tough situation work and, and the system isn't working as it's intended to. You know, and she, she's disabled, so she receives social security benefits, but even with that, that, so there's mm -hmm. there's no place that she can live. Mm -hmm. so hopefully uh, something happens for her. Yeah. yeah. Let's cross and our fingers else. For, for, for a positive update. And yes, yeah. exactly, an improvement in the system um, for all who need it. Colton, good story. Thank you.